Welcome to what should be another very interesting video from Power Director Made Simple. Yes, just as the title suggests, I am going to show you how to hack your way into certain Cyberlink files. But don't get too excited. We are not going online to do any of this. We are not going to hack any websites. What I'm going to do is to change the default setting of some Cyberlink template files on my own system. I am doing this because I am tired of changing one particular variable over and over again every time that I use any one of several overlays. Now let's jump right into PowerDirector so that I can show you the problem. On my timeline, I have pre-positioned an image taken from the Cyberlink website. Let's assume that I want to highlight one of the features on this image, such as the neon title templates over on the right side. I want to highlight it by drawing a red rectangle around the feature. I can do that by clicking on Overlays, then Highlight, and then scroll down about one-fourth of the way down until I can see the various red shapes, such as rectangles, circles, lines, and so forth. I'm going to select Sketch Animation number 13, and I'm going to drag it down to the timeline on Track 2. Now immediately you can see the problem with almost all of these red highlight shapes in that they appear too large and the red line is too thick. The size of the highlight will vary from video to video depending on the feature that I want to highlight. So I know that I will have to adjust the size each time. I can adjust the size directly in the preview window by moving the playhead to somewhere near the middle of the clip duration and then click on the highlight to select it. In the preview window, Eight control gadgets now appear around the perimeter of the shape, allowing me to change the overall size and move it so that it surrounds the feature item that I want it to be around. But the thickness of that red line is just too thick. That cannot be adjusted directly in the preview window. So I'll have to hit F2 to open up the Sketch Designer window. In the upper left corner, I'll change the line width from the default 30 down to 3 by using the slider bar or the direct number input. I can change the color here as well if I wish, as long, along with a few other parameters, but I'll stick with just changing the line width. I'm going to click on OK and return to the main Power Director window. Now immediately, you can see the thinner lines on the preview window. I can test out the animation by moving the playhead back to the start position and hitting play. So now there is the problem. I'm getting tired of changing this to a value of three every time I use this particular highlight and a few others just like it. Gee, if there was only a way that I could change the default of the line width to 3 instead of 30. But there is. I'm going to hack the template file so that it comes up with that default value of 3 instead of 30. Now viewing in the Windows File Explorer, I can find all of these highlight templates at C, Program Files, Cyberlink, PowerDirector 22, PIP object, which stands for Picture in Picture, now known as an overlay. Fortunately, all of the folder names match the exact name of the overlay that I want, so I just have to locate the one for Sketch Animation 13, the one that I was using. There are four folders with that name but they end with some numbers for the different aspect ratios, varying from 1 to 1, 4 to 3, 9 to 16, and 16 to 9. Because nearly all of my videos are in 16 to 9 aspect ratio, I'll change just this one for now, but the procedure for the other aspect ratios would be the same. When I open that 16 to 9 folder, there are multiple .xml files, 
two image files and one .clt file, which I think probably stands for Cyberlink Template. I'm going to change the view from details to large icons. Now you can see the two image files, which are actually used for the thumbnails to display the template in the media library. I am not going to touch any of the .xml files, most of which are somewhat redundant, but just written for a different language chosen by the user of the computer system. The only file that I'm going to modify is the title template.clt file. But before I do anything, I'm going to make a backup of that file. I'll right click on the file and select copy. I'll then right click on an empty space and select paste. The Windows user access control pops up because it wants to make sure that I have administrator privileges, which I do. So I'll click on continue. I strongly recommend that you create a backup copy of any template file before you attempt to make any change. Now next, I'm going to open that original file in Notepad by right-clicking on it and selecting Edit in Notepad. Now Windows 10 users may have to select Open With and then select Notepad for just one time. Now once this file is open in Notepad, you can see that it is all text. Most of the text is labeled as action, and this information defines how the animation works. Do not change any of this information. Scroll all the way to the end of the file and look for information that is about six lines from the end and starts with the words brush property. Towards the end of that line, you should find width equals 30. This is the only data that I'm going to change. I'll delete 30 and enter only three. The quote marks will remain. When done, I'll click on File and then Save or Save As. The original name should appear in the suggested file name as title template.clt, which is correct. I'll then click on Save. Now, so far, everything has been easy, but now Windows has certain protection measures in place to prevent unauthorized changes to the Program Files folder. This is where I'll see the first of these protection measures. I am prevented from saving directly into this folder. So instead, I will temporarily save it anywhere else, such as the desktop. I'll navigate to the desktop and then click on Save. I'll now close the Notepad window. Using File Explorer, I can go to my desktop location and locate the title template.clt file. Notice that Notepad automatically adds a .txt on the end. I'll rename the file by removing the txt extension. Next, I'll right-click the file and select Cut. Then using File Explorer, I'll move back to the Sketch Animation folder and right-click on an empty spot and select Paste. Windows now tells me that there is already a file with that name. I'll click on Replace the file. Now, once again, Windows wants to make sure that I that I have administrator privileges, which I do, so I'll click on Continue. There, the deed is done. Next, I'll switch back to PowerDirector. I'll delete the sketch animation overlay that is already on the timeline, just so I can start anew. And then next, I'll find that Sketch Animation 13 file in the Media Library and drag it down to Track 2. But watch to see what is different this time. I'll move the playhead to about the middle of the duration 
And now you can immediately see what is different. The line width is already set to 3 instead of 30. Now I can move and resize the overlay directly in the preview window. I no longer have to hit F2 to enter the sketch designer window just to change the line width to 3. It is now my default. I have successfully hacked a Cyberlink file. Congratulations! If you utilize any of the highlight templates and find yourself repeatedly having to open up Sketch Designer window just to change one parameter, such as the line width or even the color to your preferred choices, now you know there is a method of changing the default. And if the need ever arises where you may want the line width to be thicker than your new default, well, then you can always hit F2 and change the line width to something thicker. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment or question below. Tell me what you liked or disliked about the video. I know there are some of you who feel that they would never hack a template file, but there are others who may feel that it might be something worthwhile to give a try. And why not? Cyberlink changes things every month. Why not us? <laughs>